and white. guys, we all got in the car, and we decided we were going to go away for the weekend. So we came to Wenatchee, and we stayed in the Columbia Hotel. Well, three of the girls, we slept on the bed sideways instead of lengthways. The guys, we didn't have any money, very much. And the guys pushed the bed and the chairs together to sleep, and the chairs would fall apart, and they slept on the floor. Um, there was a Mackenzie restaurant right on the corner that was across from Wells and Wade. I don't know if you all know where that is, right down there, kitty corner from the museum. We'd go in and we'd order a meal, and we would take and uh, get three meals and divide it in five. I mean, we were, that's what we did. Well, I said, I love it here in the valley. This is the most beautiful place. And I came from Penticton, because it was beautiful too. But I thought it was so beautiful. And I said, someday I'd love to live here. Well, back to the coast, I go after my internship. And then, following that, I ended up working in, a, in an office with a bunch of girls and, and a, a couple of fellows that were friends. And we started going roller skating. We go roller skating Wednesdays, we go roller skating Saturdays. In the roller rink in Canada, it had four posts in the center of the floor. Well, if you've ever tried roller skating, going backwards, you hit the post, you hit your head, and down you go. <laughs> well, we found that in uh, Ferndale, Washington, there was an open floor. So it was only 19 miles. So we pick up seven pair of roller skates and seven people in a Volkswagen and we go across the border. Well, one night we decided to go to Linden, Washington, and I'm skating around. My feet went out from under me. I went down and this fellow came and asked if he could pick me up. So he helped me up and we started skating and uh, he asked me my name and I told him it was Mary Smith. And I said, well, what's your name? And he said, Jack Smith. And I said, oh, sure, let me see your driver's license. <laughs> and so he showed me his driver's license, and he really was Jack Smith. <laughs> and I said, I'm sorry, my name is Doreen Baxter, but I don't like to give people my name. <laughs> and so, anyways, he asked if he could take me home, and I said, no, I don't know you. And he said, well, I just got out of the United States Army, and I served in Korea. I got an honorable discharge, and I said, I don't date servicemen. <laughs> and so then he went and asked Freddie, the driver of our car, if he could take me home. And Freddie said, no, we don't trust Americans. <laughs> and so then uh, Freddie said, would you like to go home with him? And I said, no. I said, I don't know him. And he said, well, what about if we send a couple of the girls? I said, I'll go home with him. And so he took uh, me home, then he took the girls home, and he came the uh, next day and met my parents. And the rest is history. We got married. And I am in the valley where I love. I love, love, love the valley. And I've been all over the world. I've been to England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales doing my tours. I've been to, to Australia, New Zealand, uh, to Fiji, to France, and to Alaska. And coming home, as you come it, across the hill through Kashmir and then down through Sunslope, and you see the broad view of our lights on at nighttime and the snow and the mountains, there's nothing more beautiful than to be wrapped in the mountains of Wenatchee. Mm -hmm. 